This is the Lenovo Legion 9i, the world's first laptop with internal cooling that doesn't require external connection to an accessory of some sort. I've been using it now for a few weeks, and while I'm not quite ready to give my full review, I do have a few thoughts. So in this video, I wanna give you five reasons why I love this computer more than my 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro, but the one reason why I still can't switch. This video is not sponsored by Lenovo. However, the laptop was gifted to me by Lenovo Legion and Nehemic, so a huge shout out to them for making this video possible. This video is sponsored by my friends over at Keeper. I went into this video with one goal and one goal only, and that was to replace my MacBook Pro. Since I still own an M2 Ultra Mac Studio, I figured trying the switch now while I have a backup plan is definitely ideal, especially with a laptop like this that has all of the performance crammed into it that's supposedly extremely portable. Let's begin with reason number one why I love this laptop and that's the ports. Apple did amazing work with their 14 and 16 inch Pro Series laptops, but it's still not as good as the Legion 9i. This thing has a headphone mic jack combo, SD card reader, USB-C 3.2 Gen 1, two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, DCN, two Thunderbolt 4 ports that support DisplayPort 1.4 and Power Delivery 3.0 up to 140 watts, which pairs great with their travel charger, HDMI 2.1, and an ethernet port. On the end, Side, we have a power button that doubles as a fingerprint reader with Windows Hello support, and it even has a nice little RGB status light around it. I'm a big fan of Windows Hello security, especially their face recognition, but honestly, the fingerprint scanner on the Legion 9i reminds me a lot of Touch ID on my MacBook Pro, so no loss there. Speaking of security, there's even a little switch on the side to quickly enable the E shutter. You can tell if it's on or off by the LED status light next to the camera. Honestly, between this and Windows security, I think most people would be just fine. However, I like my most private information to be behind a vault, which is why after several horrible data leaks with my previous password manager, I decided to switch to Keeper. Check it out, come here, come here. Ever since my previous password manager had one of the worst security breaches in the history of password managers, I've been on the hunt for a replacement. This breach not only resulted in my data being leaked all over the web, but I also had to cancel credit cards and go through different credit reports and just, it was just a mess. Eventually, I landed on Keeper as my replacement. Unfortunately, I can't get into details about why I chose this one over that one or why another one didn't work out. What I can tell you is why Keeper is my new personal favorite password manager. For starters, the interface is clean, easy to use, and extremely cohesive across different platforms ranging from Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, and of course their web interface, which is a big deal to me considering I'm constantly trying new products. Another reason is compared to other managers, Keeper makes it so much easier to add things like multiple addresses, bank accounts, credit cards, and other personal information. The third reason is unlike one of the leading competitors in this space, Keeper doesn't require you to download a desktop app and a browser extension just to use it. All you need is the extension inside the browser that you're using. Number four, while Keeper isn't the cheapest password manager out there, it's also not the most expensive. For $2.92 a month, you get all of these features with the option to add on things like secure file storage, concierge service, and breach watch. They also offer discounts for students in a limited free version that you can try and use for as long as you want. Number five is the most important thing to me, and that is at the time of this video, Keeper has never been breached. They know security and they respect your privacy. What more do you want? If you're ready to ditch the built-in password manager that comes pre-installed in your browser or smartphone and get something that's not only more secure but feature-rich, hit up the link in the description and use code ot for tech to save 50%. Reason number two why I love this laptop more than my MacBook Pro is the upgradability. I was very fortunate to receive the highest end model of the Legion 9i from Lenovo. This includes two one terabyte NVMe drives rated together for a super fast two terabyte SSD. While this storage is plenty for some, I do a lot of video editing and I don't want to carry around multiple external hard drives. So 
I immediately upgraded the storage with two four terabyte Lexar NM790 NVMe SSDs. After I installed the new SSDs, I went into the BIOS and rated them together. The process was painless. Just remember to back up your data and create a boot drive for a smooth transfer. The Lexar NM790 NVMe SSDs are extremely fast, especially in RAID 0. These speeds are more than enough for gaming, video editing, and anything else I want to throw at this computer. The best part is the price. At the time I received these, they were priced around $180 each, bringing the grand total to 360 bucks for this upgrade. To put this in perspective, Apple charges a whopping $2,200 for eight terabytes of storage, and the speeds are actually slower than my current setup. Staying on a topic of upgradability, in the future, if I want to upgrade the RAM on the Legion 9i, I can easily do that since the RAM slots are easily accessible, which is not the case on the MacBook Pro since the RAM is soldered onto the board. Reason number three I love the Legion 9i is the performance. The model that I have here is rocking a 24 core 13th gen Intel Core i9 CPU and an Nvidia RTX 4090. Before diving too much into this, there are a few things I need to preface with this though. First of all, this model came with 32 gigabytes of high clocked 6400 megahertz RAM. Unfortunately, the RAM is not running at this speed straight out of the box. I had to go into the BIOS and enable the XMP profile in order to achieve the advertised overclock speeds. Secondly, while the GPU can be overclocked inside of the Lenovo Vantage app, if you want to overclock the CPU, you'll need to enable the setting within the BIOS, then download the Intel Extreme Tuning app in order to enable overclocking inside of Vantage. Lastly, the water cooling does help with performance, but it's not as big of a boost as some might think. For starters, the water cooling does not have any impact on the CPU since it goes over the GPU and VRAM. Even so, it doesn't play a huge impact on overclocked GPU cores, it's mostly for the VRAM. You also have to consider the lack of a radiator, which plays a role in just how much of an impact the water cooling plays. It's still a great first step and it does help with performance. I know Lenovo and Cooler Master work really hard on this. I just think that this is a first generation product and it needs to be ironed out a little before we see the true benefits of this giant leap in technology and the design of this cooling system. Regardless, this laptop is very impressive and it dances circles around my M1 Max, especially when utilizing the 330 watt charger. So that way the 4090 can achieve its maximum 230 watts TDP, which is pretty crazy for a laptop. I've edited 8K R3D raw video inside of Premiere and DaVinci Resolve with ease. In fact, I was able to edit the same footage while not plugged in on whisper mode. The battery did not like me very much after this and there were some drop frames so I had to drop the resolution. Here's a quick look at some export times in both NLEs using various different codecs including 8K RED footage and ProRes RAW to give you an idea of what to expect if you're a video editor. I also did quite a bit of gaming on this laptop since it is a gaming laptop and I haven't been happier. After overclocking the CPU and GPU just slightly, running the XMP profile and switching to custom mode for a more tuned experience, my frame rates are so silky smooth that at times I forget I'm gaming on a laptop. I'm not as much of a diehard gamer as others out there, so bear with me, but these are the games that I tested and the frame rates that I was able to achieve. Personally, going by my last Windows PC laptop experience, these numbers are extremely impressive, especially when compared to, well, my M1 Max MacBook Pro that specializes in games like Civilization and a mediocre Resident Evil experience. I love being able to get work done during the day and then game at night, all on the same computer. This is the exact reason why I wanted to replace my MacBook Pro. So I'm happy to see that the Lenovo Legion 9i is providing that. Moving on to reason number four, and that's the overall experience. Between the keyboard experience, which provides 1.5 millimeters of key travel, to the super bright 3.2K 165 hertz mini LED display, there's a lot to love about this laptop. Lenovo advertises the display to reach up to 1,200 nits of brightness, while delivering 100% of the DCI P3 and Adobe color space. Compared to my MacBook Pro, the colors are very similar. Brightness levels are also very close, at least with the naked eye. The only thing I can give the MacBook Pro is that it appears sharper, which is due to macOS having better scaling and the glossy display versus the matte display on the Legion 9i. Even the insane amount of RGB on this laptop is 
quite amusing. I've had my fair share of gaming laptops in the past, such as ones from Razer that have Razer Chroma built in, but nothing has been quite as crazy as this. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of all this, but it is something that definitely adds personality to a laptop. Being able to dive into Vantage and customize the lighting effects and colors is pretty cool. And for the late night gaming sessions or streams, I can see why people would like it. Okay, so the last reason why I love this laptop comes down to the design. I know, I know, it's probably stupid, but I really like the forged carbon fiber lid. Not only does it look just badass, but every laptop is unique since the manufacturing process creates unique patterns on every lid. While yes, it's not really that noticeable unless you look at the differences really close, it's still something I enjoy. Especially coming from a MacBook where they all look and feel the exact same, unless you put a skin or a case on it. So if you made it this far in the video, first of all, thank you. I'm sure you're wondering why I can't replace my MacBook Pro with this specific computer after saying all of these great things about the Legion 9i. Well, it's simple. I want something with great battery life that can achieve its peak performance even when not plugged into the wall, and that's definitely a big one. I need something that can slide in and out of a backpack easily and isn't going to kill my back when traveling. I need a true laptop, and unfortunately, the Legion 9i just isn't cutting it. While I enjoy all of the features I mentioned, sadly, this computer will more than likely be sitting on my gaming desk and serve as my Windows desktop replacement. The only backpack that I own that this computer can fit in is my 35 liter Peter McKinnon Nomadic backpack. And that's just too damn big for everyday commute and routine travel. Now I know there are smaller backpacks out there, but none of them can hold all of my camera gear while also not blatantly looking like a camera bag. So for this reason, I'll be sticking with my 16 inch MacBook Pro, at least for travel, for a little while longer. Hopefully with Qualcomm's new Elite chips, I'll finally get the Windows laptop I've been waiting for. Until then, the Legion 9i will serve its purpose as the best desktop replacement I have ever used. Make sure to stay tuned for one of the dopest gaming setups I have ever put together so far. A lot of time and attention will be going into it, and I know for a fact you're gonna like it. And outside of that, thank you all for watching and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.